Hi. It's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young, old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, as you saw from the thumbnail, we're going to check out Cindy Lee, which is just a, a band name for Patrick Flegel, I think is his name. And he's a Canadian artist and been around for over a decade, but I have never heard anything from him or his band Women that he used to be in. Uh, I don't know anything about it. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to just uh, check out the first two songs, and it's supposed to be kind of lo-fi, and I don't know much about it, so let's jump into it. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like or subscribe button. It really does help, and here we go.
right into the next song. So, okay, so starting the next song there, but uh, yeah, so twin guitars really dominated that first song. They come in in the opening, love it in the headphones, and they're playing against each other. So they're playing two different uh, pieces. That's fantastic. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. Uh, the percussion was very sparse. I could understand the words very clearly. I did not do a uh, deep dive into the lyrics. On this, I decided just to hit it up cold. Second song, much more up-tempo and dominated by the percussion, couldn't understand the words at all because he had put uh, such a distorted vocal effect on there. And that's it. Uh, 
so I, I don't know. I mean, I can tell this is a grower, really strong song, strong melodies. Um, yeah, and interesting, very interesting sonically, right? Doing some real left field kind of production techniques there. So it was cool. I enjoyed it. And the vocals were totally different. Uh, the first one sounded like a woman. The second one sounded like a man. So I'm not sure if that was him singing both vocals or if he had a guest vocalist on the first song. I, 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 uh, I As far as I could tell, there's only two people on the album. So I'm going to guess that, that he did the vocals. I, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, real different, real different. Not like anything I've heard before. So I can see why it's popular. So there's 32 songs on the album. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. But it was number one rated album on Rate Your Music and some of the websites and different uh, zines have really raved about this. So I thought, let me check it out. So what would I give it for a rating? I don't know I think it's a grower. I mean, you know, listening to it, Right now, sort of a B plus, but I could see how it would uh, grow on me with repeated listenings, and I was glad I listened to it. It's really interesting. It's a sonic treat. It's really fun in the headphones. Um, yeah, some real lo-fi distorted things going on. Interesting. So I think that's it. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I was glad I listened to Cindy Lee, uh, Canadian artist, uh, Patrick uh, Flegel, I think is his name. Um, I might have screwed that up, but that's it. And uh, thanks for joining me on the channel. As we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.